And with that, we have Lisa sharing her drosh with us today. So, you're going to notice um, that my drosh this morning doesn't have anything to do with any of our scriptures for this week, but I got that approved by Garrett, so it's all good. <laughs> so, um, my drosh this morning is called a one fruit salad, so here's where we're going with that. You know, at own egg. Sometimes you're sitting there and you're eating and somebody will say to you, so what did you bring this week? So if that happened this week, I'd say, oh, I brought some fruit salad. But here's where my props come in. <laughs> All right. So if I, if I said I brought fruit salad, and you went out there looking for fruit salad and found a bowl and all it had in it was pineapples, you'd be like, why is she lying to me? She said she brought fruit salad. That's not fruit salad, right? So you would actually be expecting me to, if I said I, if I said I brought fruit salad, you would think lots of different fruit, right? That's what I actually brought. So, um, the, my, where I'm going with this is I'm going to talk about the fruit of the Spirit, okay? That's from Galatians 5, 22 and 23. Uh, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, and self-control. And then it goes on to say that there are no laws in the Torah opposed to those things, so why do we need all this different fruit, right? The Bible says that love is the fulfilling of the law or the fulfillment of the law. So you would think that's the only fruit we would need, right? But we need all the different fruits because sometimes people need kindness. Sometimes people need you to be patient with them. You know, everybody needs different things at different times. So you need all the different fruit because you have a lot of, of uh, different people and needs that you respond to. So you need the fruit of the Spirit because other people need that fruit. And, uh, and hold on, I think I'm forgetting something here. Oh, yeah, I did miss something. I skipped right over it. So my question I wrote down here was, why was fruit created? What is the purpose of fruit? Right? It's to eat. God gave it to us so we can enjoy it and eat it. And the fruit of the Spirit is, is also to be eaten. So that's kind of... Uh, Someone else needs that fruit, and you have that fruit for them to eat. Okay, now we'll go to the second part. Thursday morning, I had an appointment for my annual physical. And when she was doing my breast exam, she found a small lump, and then she says, there's no reason to panic until we know there's something to panic about. But I had, like, when she's first told me there was something weird there, I, was, I wasn't worried about it at all. And then I was driving home from work that afternoon. I always listen to the radio. And there weren't any songs on that I really wanted to listen to, so I changed it over to the CD player. And um, I don't know the name of the song, but the one line in the song, it's a Michael W. Smith song says, you're my prince of peace, and I will live my life for you. 
And as I was singing that, I realized that the reason that I wasn't worried or panicked was because I had that fruit of peace, right? He is our Prince of Peace, but we also have the fruit of the Spirit. And so that I realized that that fruit isn't just, we don't just have that for other people to eat it, but it's for us too, that we can benefit from that as well. So that's my drosh, Shabbat Shalom.